Hello and welcome to this i2 video which introduces and demonstrates the ability to save charts in i2 Notebook and also the Record Inspector shortcut, both made available as part of i2 Analyst Notebook Premium 940 and i2 Enterprise Insight Analysis 250. As you may remember, in previous releases of Notebook Premium, we added Notebook, i2 Notebook, the web client, as part of Analyst Notebook Premium. At this release, we get the ability to save charts. Now, i2 Notebook has always saved charts temporarily, maintained or retained for a short period of time. After that point, those charts were automatically discarded. This release as i2 Notebook it allows you to save the chart. And once, you, once, once the user has saved that chart, it will permanently be permanently stored on the i2 Analyze server. So, they'll be able to go back to it at any point. Now those charts can be opened from the home page of i2 Notebook. So if you go to the home page, you will see a list of all of your currently saved charts. So here I can see I've got two saved charts called Crime Locations and Thaddeus and Friends. Both of those are permanently saved. I've also got another chart here, which has a warning message that says to preserve these changes in this chart, I need to save it within six days. So that's one of the automatically saved temporary charts, which will go away after a set period of time. What it should be noted here, um, it's quite important, is these charts are saved on the i2 Analyze server. They are not available for opening in an Analyst Notebook desktop client. They are purely for use within the i2 Notebook web client. Okay. Another new element within i2 Notebook introduced into this current release is the ability to, when working in the i2 Notebook chart, to double click on a record, excuse the tacky graphic here, and to automatically open the record inspector if it's not already open. So a nice little shortcut that gets you to the detail, data much more quickly if it's not already visible to you. I'm now going to demonstrate the Record Inspector shortcut and saving charts in i2 Notebook. So to begin with, um, firstly, currently, as you can see, I've not got the Record Inspector open. If I want to get the details for Jermaine Green, I can now double click. And the Record Inspector will open for me automatically. Obviously, once it's already open, then it doesn't need to open again. But if I close it, and click on someone else. That record inspector will then reopen, which obviously saves some a few steps. Okay, the other thing we're going to look at is saving charts. So we'll now see that we've got a new save option in i2 Notebook. If I click on that, I've got the option to save. So now I've got Jermaine and friends. If I go to the i2 Note homepage, homepage, it will present me with a list of the currently saved charts I've got. And you'll notice a couple of things here. So I've now got Jermaine and Friends saved away on my i2 Analyze server. And I can go back to that if I close it. Yep, okay. So if I then click on this one, I can immediately open that chart and come back to it. What you may also notice when I went back to the home page, there were a couple of charts with exclamations on. Now, I2 Analyze will always save a chart for a specified period of time. Um, so this one, in order to save any changes to it, I need to save it. The same applies for my crime locations chart here, and also one that I've saved previously and made some changes to, but not actually physically saved. So if I choose to open that is some friends here, Currently, there are edits to that chart that have not been persisted. If I fit that to the screen and just click Save, those changes will now be permanently kept on my i2 Analyze server. If I go back to my home page, we can now see the status of these have changed. So these are both have no changes and have been saved, so I can go back into them. These ones are at present saved on the server, 
but after a period of time, for example this one, chart 12, they will disappear completely. Um, if I want to keep them, then I need to go ahead and save those. Alright, so for example, crime locations, we can now save that away and make sure that we keep those changes. Okay, so that's a quick look at saving and retrieving charts in IT Notebook and also for the quick view of the record inspector by double clicking. One thing to point out here, once again, is that I2 Notebook charts are only viewable in I2 Notebook. There is no way to get these saved charts to be displayed in Analyst Notebook.